Have you ever wondered what the inside of a Stanford dorm looks like? Well, look no further because I'm about to take you on a tour of my dorm. Buckle up. Hey everyone, welcome to my dorm tour. Today I'm gonna show you where I lived junior year of college. So when you open the door, the first thing you see is the awesome kitchen. It's super spacious, it has everything I need, and I share it with just one other person. It comes with a stove, an oven, and a very finicky toaster. One time, I actually set a bagel on fire. Don't ask me how. So here is my fridge, and if you live in this particular dorm, you don't have to be on the Stanford dining meal plan, which is really great. So you buy your own groceries, and you're responsible for cooking your own food. Now let's go to my room. This is the classic extra-large twin-size bed that literally everyone in college sleeps on. And here is the extent of decorations that I attempted for my room this year. Just photographs and a sea turtle calendar. Here is my study space. Just got a desk and a chair. You can see my computer and my really cluttered desk. Here I am doing homework, or I might be on Omegle, you never know. Now this is my pride and joy. It is the set that I built all by myself. I know it's pretty extra for a dorm room, but I love cameras and I'm a professional photographer and I think the lighting is really good. So this is the lighting, how it's all set up. It's kind of weirdly set up because my room is kind of small and is shaped randomly like a trapezoid, but I think I did well with what I have and I think it makes you look really good. So the first thing you see when you open the door is the closet. The closet is really big and everything that I ever needed to store, it held. It's also perfect for anyone who's above 9 feet because there's some poles up there that only you can reach. Now let's go into the bathroom. The bathroom is pretty small and standard, just a toilet and a shower. Honestly, as a college kid, this is everything you can ask for. Your own toilet. Now let's go check out the rest of the dorm. So the first stop we're gonna make is just down the hall. It is the laundry room. There aren't too many people on the first floor, so there are only two washing machines and four dryers. So this is the first floor study room. We have some computers, a printer, a sofa, and also a whiteboard in case you wanna study with your friends. This printer is supposed to be easy. You're supposed to swipe your card and print things, but every time I've placed my faith in this printer, it has failed me. So this building is actually really large, it houses a lot of people, and so we have elevators where people can go up and down to whatever floor they need. And so I'm going to show you what it looks like on the upper floors. So now we are on the fourth floor and this is the lounge. It's a huge area with a bunch of tables and chairs and people come here to hang out, chill with friends, eat or do homework. We also have this really spacious area, which is perfect for dorm events. Each dorm is given a budget every quarter that's specifically spent on dorm events. So we have things like arts and crafts, they buy us free food all the time, and one time they even made little gift baskets and they put it in front of every single person's door. And every dorm at Stanford has a theme, and I could not figure out what ours was, so if you know, please let me know. This is the upper floor laundry room and it's a lot bigger than the one downstairs. It just has a lot more machines, and that's because a lot more people live on the upper floors. Oh yeah, and laundry at Stanford is completely free, which is awesome. This is another study room that we have. It's just a lot bigger than the one downstairs. It has more couches, more computers, and last but not least, we have a balcony where you can come out, enjoy the outdoors, and stare at the construction that is happening 24-7. Well, I hope you enjoyed coming on a tour of my dorm. Out of my three years I've had at Stanford, this has definitely been my best dorm experience. It's just so amazing, and I'm so glad that I got this house. Make sure to subscribe if you like seeing things like this, and I'll see you in the next video.